So how do you follow up a performance like we had on Sunday? CD said it best. You got to keep kicking. Good people. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? Look, Cowboys football coming back real quick like it never left. Thursday almost here. You know what I'm saying? And um, as you can hear, I got peoples here. I got family in town. Um, so it's one of them weeks, man. So y'all gonna have to bear with me. It ain't gonna be as pristine. I might be recording in some other places, but I'm gonna get y'all y'all content because I love y'all. Listen, simple. Dak Prescott was asked today at the lockers, you know what I'm saying, after practice, talking about, you know what I'm saying, how you follow up a performance like you did on Sunday. Dak had a simple response. Well, Dak didn't have a simple response. C.D. Lamb walking by with the shades on, mad swaggy, had the simple response. You just keep kicking ass. It's, it's simple, yet effective. It's sometimes you over over overcomplicate things. You build the mindset, you put the work in, you grind, and then you go execute. It's simple. C.D. Lamb saying that is a, it's a comfortability that he's building. I'm going to get busy. I'm going to keep doing my thing. It's your job to stop me. And when I say me, I'm talking about we, talking about this team. You feel me? Dak Prescott was out there comfortable on Sunday. He was locked in. He was dropping dot after dot after dot. The running game was physical. It was fast. It was. It just kept coming at you in waves and waves and waves, and it just broke. The defense was vicious. They was everywhere. Pass rush, run stopping, pass coverage. Like, everything was just, everyone was in the zone. It was a confidence. It was, it was like, well, you don't belong on this field, Minnesota. So when you say keep kicking ass, I look at it like keep moving like you dominant. We've kept, we've, we've been building towards this time. We're going to continue to build because every game, every different play is an extra brick in the foundation of the house we building. You feel me? So as simple as that statement is, I respected it because it was confident. It was subconscious. It just came out. You know what I'm saying? And I think, I, not, not, I don't think, I know that this team is not the team that played Tampa the first week or the Bengals the second week. We're a whole different animal. Or even the Eagles game that we lost. We're a whole different animal. But you got to continue to walk with confidence and build on that. So I like what CD said. I also like the other things I heard today, man. First and foremost, let me ask y'all a question. Michael Parsons said, why is MVP just a quarterback award? And I like that. That's Micah putting his bid in like, hey, man, we continue to dominate like we dominating. And me being one of the better players in the league, I should get an MVP vote or two. I should be considered for an MVP. And I respect that. Closed mouths don't get fed. <clears throat> if Micah don't say nothing, nobody will never make me think it. So I like that. Speaking of closed mouths not getting fed, Dak Prescott said today that he's had correspondence. He's talked with Odell Beckham Jr., I like that. See, when this whole Adele thing started happening, we saw Micah say something, Gallup say something, CD say something. The usual suspects, Zeke, McCarthy, Jerry, Steven. But Dak did say something. But this follow-up of him just saying, no, I've talked to him via text. We, I let him know I want him here. Like sometimes you got to be straightforward. You feel me? Sometimes you got to stop playing, stop beating around the bush, stop hinting at stuff. Yo, we got something good going on down here. You need to come through. Let the front office and stuff do their thing with your agent. Come through. We building something. And if I was Odell Beckham Jr. and I looked at what's going on in New York and what's going on in Dallas, this wouldn't even be a discussion. You can let nostalgia hit you all you want to, but at the end of the day, they traded you. They threw you to the curb. You feel me? 
I just respect it. I, I respect, man, go after it, say what you want. Don't mince words. Don't play with it. Don't sit around thinking about two months later. I probably should have said something to Odell. Pride come before the fall. And when you're too prideful, you usually lose. Forget all that pride. I want Odell on the team. Now, if we don't get him, we don't get him. It is what it is. Because he's in control. He make his own decision. But Odell can't wonder. He can't, like, I wonder if the, the Cowboys want me. Nah. The, 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 the fan base, the players, the ownership, we've all pretty much put it out there. We want parts. I'm hoping they go through, but if it don't, we got to deal with what we got to deal with. That's just the way the world works. You know what I'm saying? But thinking more into what this Giants game is going to look like, man. I told y'all the week of the Packers game, I had a feeling that game was going to be harder than we thought. I'm getting the same feeling out of this Giants game. See, the easiest thing in football is to look at a team when it's wounded, when it's hurt, when it's down bad and think, oh, it's a wrap. These are grown men, grown adult athletes. Most of them was the best players on the teams they ever came from, or at least top two or three. This is the upper echelon. This is the league. So even when backups step in, you never know which backup's going to turn into someone great. You don't know. So, yeah, they lost Wondell Wright. Or Robinson, sorry. They lost Adore Jackson. Um, multiple injuries. They already was kind of stripped down. The main offensive weapon is Saquon and, and the legs of Daniel Jones and all this extra stuff. And it's like, this should be a piece of cake. And I want I challenge the Dallas players, the fan base, to think about the last time. It was just two weeks ago. We thought a game was going to be a piece of cake. And what Green Bay did to us in overtime. You can't overlook no opponents. I need the Cowboys players and coaching staff to be locked in. New York is looking at us like the way to springboard to the rest of their season. This type of win can springboard the rest of your season. I don't care who hurt. We should be looking at New York as a way to <clears throat> continue to build on our current success. They're another brick, but a brick we're going to have to earn. It's not going to be given to us. We got to go out there and play. We got to come out there balanced again. This is a team that wants to take the air out the football and run the ball. That's what they want to do. They want to run the ball. They want to play smart football and hope that we make mistakes and kill ourselves, shoot ourselves in the foot. We got to realize the animal that we're dealing with. The way I look at it is this. We, styles make fights. We can get in the booth and battle with anybody on this physical stuff. We are running defensive-led team right now. And then we use play action to dot you up. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So many people want me to be mad. They want me to be like, Dak should be going for 300 yards a game. No. I want this balance and this, this attack that's hard to deal with. I don't want to be pigeonholed into predictability. predictability you know? But I want to know what y'all think, man. I really want to know what y'all think. First things at first, I want to know what y'all think about Odell Beckham. You know what I'm saying? I'm really starting to get the feeling as much as I have it that it's, it's going to happen. There's too many things pointing in a direction. It's too much smoke. When there's smoke, this much smoke, there's some fire. <laughs> there is some fire. Do you think Micah should be able to win MVP? I'm just wondering. Do you? How do you feel about the mindset of the team just being locked in, saying basically, you know, how are we going to keep this up? We're going to just keep going out there and doing it. Don't overcomplicate this. You know what I'm saying? But look, I'm going to try to get y'all another video before Thanksgiving, and I'm going to try to get y'all something going on after the game. I just got a feeling that this is not going to be an easy game, but we're going to get this win. Don't get no confusion. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I'll holler.